Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Snap Shots. Today we're looking at zone focusing. So, why don't we get right to it? With zone focusing, what you essentially are doing is judging by a distance. So, let's say something's two meters away. Look at your lens, you set it to two meters. Take the photo. Hopefully, it's in focus. But of course, it's not just hoping for the best. There are a few things that go into it. When you are zone focusing, most of the time you do have it at a higher f stop usually at f8 or 11. How this helps you is that there's going to be more in focus when you take the photo when you're at a higher f-stop like that. Now most lenses for your rangefinders have little markings where you can see between what meters is something going to be in focus if you're at that f-stop. I know a lot of people like to set the camera at 3 meters because when you're at f8 usually from 3 meters to infinity is in focus when you have it at that setting. Now this is going to be something you don't get on the first day I myself still struggle with it, still need to practice, I have practiced in a long time. If you watch any of the black and white film videos that I shot on my Melbourne trip, all that was with zone focus. And that is kind of why a lot of them are out of focus, but that was me trying to learn and practice by doing. Now I definitely can be off sometimes with distance because my perception of what is meters and what is feet, it, it, it does complicate things a little bit. And it's definitely something you got to get used to. I would actually recommend getting like a tape measure measuring something out to kind of get an idea of what is two meters, three meters, four meters, or if you're in America, go what is three feet, six feet, ten feet, and so on. For example, ten feet is three meters. Now some lenses have both feet and meters marked on the lens. Some just have meters, some just have feet. And you're probably wondering why zone focus when you can look through your camera. Sometimes it's actually just faster. You set it to like three meters, you know anything that's going to be within three meters, you just you are more focused on the composition and the exposure more so than the focus. So it gives you one less thing to think about when you're out there trying to catch some street. Because when we do shoot street, we're shooting a lot of moments that are fleeting. Moments that just happen once in a lifetime. And you really want to make sure you get the shot. It is really just one simple technique that you can kind of add to your arsenal. But you won't always use. Now usually this is used by people that shoot range finders. But you can do it with the SLRs as well because they also have like a distance scale on the lens. But really this is, this is mainly for rangefinder people. And I myself have gotten some great shots by doing this that I wouldn't have got if I was just looking through the lens. This is one of the reasons why we like the more automatic cameras like point and shoots or cameras with aperture priority, shutter priority. And that's because it gives us one less thing to think about. So we can focus just on the composition, what's going on around us and you don't have to focus as much on the focus. You don't necessarily have to have it at f8. You can still zone focus at 5.64, 2.8. Heck, I've tried to do it at 1.8. Not successfully, but it is an option. But just be aware, when you are doing the lower f-stops, what is in your range of focus? And your lens will remind you. Like, let's say right now I have it set at five meters focus, and I got it at f2. It's telling me between four to six meters will be in focus. This is definitely gonna be a slower process when you're first starting out, but as you do it more and more, it will become faster. So don't expect to be faster focusing right off the bat. And with that in mind, just get out there, shoot some film, practice, practice, practice your zone focusing. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you know when there's a new episode. Anyway, I'm Josh, this has been Snapshots. Let me know if there's other subjects you want me to touch upon with the Snapshot series, which is focusing on beginner tips and information. But if you've got nothing else, just get out there, shoot some film.